Welcome to Double H Farm on this beautiful wintry day. To be a farmer, it takes more skill than being a doctor. We have to know more and be able to control more and able to do more than a doctor has to. There's gonna be a food shortage in the near future and nobody even has a clue that it's coming. I mean, some of the people who do know have a clue are the farmers and, and some of the people who pay attention to the food system, but you know, all these rules and regulations are just going to interfere with everybody's ability to prove, produce food. And Unless you're what's the right the answer? Every good sustainable food movement is around a liberal arts college. Mm -hmm. And that is something that says something about the thinking of those kind of people. And it washes over. It's not necessarily every person, but every person you talk to, they talk about it. And it becomes an important part of everyday conversation. We don't have that now. It's not on the TV like it needs to be. They're not talking about it. When we do talk about it, sometimes it's re it actually can be pretty good. Uh, Katie Couric had a, a special on last February about the, the problem with uh, antibiotic-resistant... Uh, bacteria in a hog house mm -hmm. and the chicken houses and it was I thought it was the greatest show and it was on CBS and national TV I called the Salatins right away I said this is terrific this is what you guys created uh -huh. because somebody on a big level is talking about the real problems I thought she'd be fired the next day yeah <laughs> but of course it was all planned so they actually did know that was going to happen but uh, that was a that was a good thing, and I, and I think that that's going to happen. Uh, that's going to happen, but uh, can it happen fast enough? Yeah. I don't know. We're going to have food shortages before that, I'm sure. Are we going to have riots? I'm sure. We're going to have some real ugliness. It'll be chaos. It'll be anarchy. Buy local is good, of course, and it's uh -huh. not going to go away, but. Feeding our neighbors is even more cool because it's even, even closer. There's so many twists and turns to the whole program, and I think some of them are going to shake out, some of them are going to go away, some, but we're going to need to have some food produced. And Ira said something that's extremely important. You know, he's appreciated. Farmers have not been appreciated for the longest time. And we have a culture that thinks we're, we're slaves to them. So that's really the biggest thing, is to get the American public to appreciate the farm. If we got that, that whole, that whole issue would, would mushroom. We would we'd have people uh, telling their congressmen, we need these farmers to be supported. And it wouldn't be just us farmers doing all the talking. The food safety bills, who was doing all the complaining? Us little farmers, probably. Because we could see the, what was going to happen. The rest of the people didn't really get an idea. They actually thought they were going to, they were going to protect us. They're going to protect us. Yeah. So we, so we really kind of got four, four main things. And get the, get the public to appreciate the farmers, maintain some diversity. Let's, let's get the government out of the, the, we can regulate ourselves out of the problem mode. And, and really just kind of bring that local focus in back around full circle to appreciating the farmer. Yeah, I'd say those four. I'm, I'm glad you didn't say price because that would come with it by automatic. Yeah, you gotta be, you That'll gotta all be come. competitive, but yeah. yeah. That's but, one of but, the reasons. But people, people buy fancy cars as well as That's right. simple cars. And so. people need a choice. And they can buy a cabbage or they can buy an heirloom tomato. Well, Richard, as a fellow farmer, is there anything else we didn't cover? We covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what else if you get it. If it isn't right on the tip of our tongue, if it ain't really on the tip of our tongue. Well, thank you for watching another Meet the Farmer TV.